Hello, this is the first of the e-learning how-to videos. This is Google Sites. To access Google Sites, you can go into Google Products, scroll down to see Sites. And you see when Sites comes up where I've already created several web pages. And for you to create a new one, you'll go to Create. And you can just use your name. Type that in. Then you'll have to enter the code. That way they know you're not a robot or a bot online just surfing for websites. Then you hit create. Now sometimes you'll just get this spinning wheel and you won't be able to tell if you created the website or not. Give it about, you know, about a minute. Then what I want you to do is you're going to hit cancel after you give it about a minute. Because if it's, there's some kind of problem with your website, like someone else already has this website, then it'll tell you that. Let's see what happens here in just a few more seconds. We're going to hit. We're going to hit cancel now. It says it's creating your site. And let's see what happened. There it is. Even though it never acknowledged it that it did it, it actually did complete it. Where it says, "Here's the site right here." So you can click on this site. You can see it has the title up here. And up here you have the edit button. So for your e-journal, you can just start right here. And then you push, you know, you can put your your name, the assignment, and then you can add, you know, photos of what you did. You can add, you know, copies of your work then you can put um, you know what how why etc on there so people can look at this and see how you did it my goal is for you to have one location where you store all your work and this will be useful for you, you know, further along in life because the internet's always going to be around and in the 21st century web-based technology is the dominant technology as far as any growth in the economy anyway. So this way you'll be started on your on practice if you haven't already had any web practice before. So if you want to enter a photo you can go to insert. You can go over here and find photos of Picasso if you want to use those. If you have your own you can load your own. If you have any kind of Google Docs, charts, or presentations, or forms, they're all added here. Images can be added directly right off your hard drive on your own computer. I'm going to hit save. And that's all you need to do as far as get going on using Google Sites for your e-journal. It's free and it's really 